Hello, my most amazing artist. Today we're going to be working with lines and shapes and colors for our awesome Hutchul inspired art. We are going to be working with some yarn eventually, but we first need to get our canvas ready. I'm going to be working on a piece of contact paper, but if you don't have contact paper, a great solution for you is to take a regular piece of paper and a glue stick. That will work as well, okay? So what I'm gonna do to prepare my canvas is I'm going to start thinking of either a, a large shape or design or animal or, or plant that would make me think about some of the artwork I saw in the Hachul Native Mexican Arts. Um, some of the ones that I came up with are uh, chickens or birds, lizards. Let me just grab, I've got a whole stack of them I wanna show you come over this way with me. Okay. Yeah, here we go. So I've got the chicken and the lizard. Let's show you what else I have here. Bird and rabbit. Sea turtle and a cactus. Fox. And a sun, cat's face, and a snake. And that is all I came up with. So those are some of the ideas that I had for my artwork. And I think I'm gonna work on a lizard. I think I love lizards. They're so cute and fun when you're out on a walk and you see one scurrying by. So I'm gonna make myself a little lizard with my yarn art. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my template and I'm going to cut it out. I'll be using my scissors. Now, if you don't have a template, if, if you don't want to print it off of a seesaw, then you can draw your own. The trick is you want to make sure that it's big enough because you don't want it to be teeny tiny. It'll be hard to add yarn if it's so small. So let's make sure that when you prepare your canvas, that whatever it is that you're making, whether it's an animal or a sunshine or a leaf or a flower, whatever it is that you make it nice and big, okay? And I'm cutting out my lizard as we speak because I'm gonna trace around this onto my paper. Too bad I don't have one of those fast forward options for you so you don't have to sit here and watch me cut. <laughs> I'm turning my paper and I'm keeping my scissors pointed away from me. That's for safety. We wanna make sure that we are safe. If you draw a design and you wanted to ask um, somebody who's older, like a parent, um, or a grown-up babysitter or an older brother or sister to help you cut out your design, that's totally okay. I think that would be just fine. It can be hard to cut something when it's got lots of curves and when it's um, kind of complex. There we go. Okay, I've got my little lizard cut out. Yay. Alrighty. So I'm gonna prepare my canvas. I'm working on a piece of, like I said, contact paper. Okay, you could be working on a piece of paper yourself. So let me show you what that might look like. You're working on just a regular piece of paper. Okay, I'll show you both ways. I need a marker and I need a pen, there we go. Okay, if you're working on a piece of paper, you're going to put your template on there and you're going to trace around the outside with a pen or a pencil. 
okay? And this outline is going to be used so we know where to put your yarn when it's time to start our yarn painting. It's kind of fun to think about painting with yarn instead of with regular liquid paints. Here we go. Oh. Now I'm smoother. Yeah, that turned out nice. I'm also going to do an example on my contact paper. Contact paper does kind of tend to roll, so you might want to put something on there. I'm going to put my scissors on the top part there. Okay. And contact paper is shiny, so you won't want to use a pen or a pencil. You'll need to use a permanent marker. And so if that's the case for you, please make sure you have permission to use your permanent marker. Some families don't want to have markers at all. If your parent or adult needs to help you with the permanent marker, that's okay. I'm all right with that. I want to make sure that your art space stays nice and clean, okay? So we're going to do it on the side that's slick, the side that's clear, not on the back side because we're going to take this back part off eventually. I'm going to trace around. Go really slow. I'm going probably faster than you would want to go. That's because I'm an adult. And usually adults have a little bit more practice. So you go ahead and go real slow. I want it to turn out nice for you, okay? Mine's gonna turn out pretty good too even though I'm going fast. And the only reason is, is that I have practice. Practice makes you a lot faster at doing things, okay? All right, let me pick it up. There it is. All right, that's all we're working on for today. Make sure that you take your time and that you ask for help if you need it with this project. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.